welcome back to the channel. Uh, this week you find me at Cabins in the Roost. It's just outside uh, Blair Gowrie in Perthshire. I say this week, it's technically the same day if I left the last video, but I'm trying to break the videos up uh, into weeks. Um, so, aye, place is absolutely stunning. Um, the owners always just came and sort of showed us about, showed us how the hot tub works, which I'm absolutely dying to get into. Um, the weather's behaved itself as well, thank God. So, aye, looks really, really good, but I'll give you a wee tour um, about inside the, the cabins, but it is uh, top notch, so we'll go and see what's happening. So here's a bed, big comfy looking bed. You've got your robes up in the wall as well. I'll be getting into them. You've got somebody hang up your jackets. Massive telly for enjoying while lying in bed or while sitting in the seating area. Get a nice wee throw and stuff as well to keep cosy. Dining area and a fully equipped kitchen. So you've got a fridge freezer down here. I'll be getting some beers into there shortly. You've got a full blown oven and grill, got a hob, microwave, loads of cupboard space, lovely big sink, coffee machine and kettle. So the beauty of being here is much as you're literally on a farm in the Persia countryside and you've got views like that, Tesco's only about eight minutes away. Um, so we've actually been down there and we've got loads of supplies. So I'll be in here later on, hopefully cooking up a bit of storm. I really enjoy cooking. So we'll be doing that this evening. Um, bathroom as well, everything in here. Pretty nice, got everything that you need and absolutely spotless as well. So I really looking forward to it. I'm gonna go and grab my stuff and we're literally gonna just chill. So I just had to come and show you these sheep. These are the owner's sheep and they are called Hungarian Raka. They're actually the biggest flock. I can't remember if I'm honest if you say it in Scotland, but I think Britain. So I think quite a relatively rare sheep here. They're insane. They're the same sheep that we've seen the owner came out with the wee hand raised lambs. Um, aye, they've got these amazing horns on them. I don't know if the zoom quite shows it. So we're all settled in. Gonna get dinner on the go. Gonna get some ribeye steaks, some confit potatoes, red wine sauce and mushrooms and onions. But before I get started, need to make sure you stay hydrated. Cheers. So I'm going to make fondant potatoes and fondant potatoes are usually nice wee sort of cylinder shapes and in the house you use like a wee press and gets it all lovely. Don't have one of them ways so um, watch me just absolutely butcher these totties into the best shape I can get. this is man honestly I feel the most relaxed ever had a nice steak dinner had a dip in the hot tub had a couple of beers sitting watching the sheep going back and forth behind me sun still sort of belting down dressed like Hugh Hefner after the hot tub as well so aye just very very chilled out so I'm just going to go in watch a bit of telly 
and I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Good afternoon. So I've had a very, very lazy morning. Um, I suppose that's the beauty when you're at a cabin like this, you're on your own time and you can just do what you want when you want basically. So never set an alarm or anything this morning. Go up, go to some breakfast on the go and then just kind of sat about a wee bit. Um, there's an amazing view overlooking the fields and there's the sheep and stuff going past. When you open the windies, all you can hear is the wee birds and stuff chirping away. Because the cabins are so far set back from the road, there's not really any road noise or anything else, so it's just so, so peaceful. So, perfect Saturday morning, but I thought I better get myself up, give myself a shake. I don't have anything massive planned today at all, I'm not going any big walks or anything like that. I'm just nipping into Blair Gowry to go back to the Tesco for a few bits that I forgot to get yesterday. Um, going to get myself back in that hot tub, get myself a couple of beers, I'm going to cook up another nice dinner tonight, really enjoyed that. And I also plan on getting the fire pit on the go and getting some of the toasted marshmallows. Um, I've came a wee walk into a place called uh, White Lock and I think Fingus Lock or Fingas Lock, I'm murdering that either way, I know that for a fact. And I'm just sort of walking through the woods that sort of takes you around, one, to get a bit of uh, quiet for the, the wind that's sort of blown about so you can hear me talk, and two, just so I can actually um, get around the edge of the water. I've just came a wee walk around just because it's the sort of first wee opening that I've seen and I could see a wee bit of water and I thought I'll take a look through there to see what it's like because I've seen that there's ospreys about here. I absolutely love ospreys, fascinating animals, migrate every summer here for South Africa which is obviously um, a bit of a mission in its own uh, but they're incredible at fishing. I've seen them multiple times uh, at Loch Tay diving into the water for trout and coming out with it. So I've came to this wee sort of opening and as I've came around here I'm just standing looking about and I've noticed something on the trees and I'm absolutely buzzing like a big wind so I'll just swing the camera around so you can see it. So this is it here. Now, as soon as I seen it, I thought, that can't be what I think it is. That's just got to be some idiot who's half chopped down a tree and half chopped into another one. But the mere and mere I was looking at it, I'm absolutely adamant that that is a beaver that has done that. When you look really, really close, you can sort of see the wee individual tooth notches where it's been sort of chewing away. And this one down here is exactly the same. Now, it's got dead easy access right down to the water under a bit of cover. So, I basically googled it to see if there's any beavers near Blair Gowrie. Now, just be careful when you type that into Google, because you might not get the pages that you're looking for. Um, but aye, apparently there is beavers in Blair Gowrie, and I can't stop laughing every time I say that. I know it's childish, but I am childish, and it's really, really funny, quite frankly. So, aye, if I see a beaver here today, I'm going to be absolutely buzzing, um, so let's just take a wee look about, I would doubt they're going to be out at this time in the day to be perfectly honest, I think they're relatively secretive animals, um, but aye, we'll go a wee walk around, we'll see if we can hopefully either see an osprey or maybe um, a bit more evidence of beavers, buzzing. So I was just walking around the woodland there and I seen uh, two people walking their dog and I figured I'm going to need to ask them. So I asked them if they're local and they says they were. Um, so I asked them, is there, is there beaver about? And uh, I'm going to laugh every single time that I make any reference to beaver. Um, and I'm not going to apologise for that either. Um, but they says there is, aye. Um, there's a good few of them and they says all, all the way along the woodland you can see where they've sort of bitten down the trees. It's mad, I've only ever seen it on like, documentaries and stuff and I knew I knew they were in Scotland, I just never knew they were specifically here. But it's like, uh, it's almost like a, a cartoon or like a caricature where you can see the nibble uh, sort of marks running about, the, running about the trees. One of the women that I was talking to, I don't think they're maybe the most popular. She was saying the amount of damage and stuff that they've done and I know it is a bit of a touchy subject with, with some people in some places about them being reintroduced and stuff, but I'd be absolutely buzzing if I managed to see one. Again, I think pretty uh, slim chances of that happening during the day, but the woman that I was talking to saying that she seen one in winter just because um, it managed to crack some ice, I think, and um, she was able to see it just as it slipped into the water, but absolutely incredible. So, fingers crossed I get to see one. So I know I'm probably boring you out of tears with this already, but I'm just fascinated. Here's another tree that clearly some time ago has been chewed down with the beavers, and you can see all the wee sort of teeth marks again. That's actually quite a decent sized tree, so their wee teeth must be razor, razor sharp. And I presume they just live out here, somewhere. And they've got to have a den somewhere, surely. Maybe see if we can find it.
gas cost. I've got no idea how to put it in. Very, very windy, but it's still a nice day. It's really warm, so it's shiny. Um, it's a private fishing lock from what I can see. Looks really, really good. I could come back here and fish it if that's a, an option. I don't know if you can buy permits or no, or if it is literally just members of the club. But it says that you can spot ospreys here, so I'm going to sit here for a wee bit and see if I can see any. If I can catch you on camera, that would be amazing. But they tend to be incredibly quick, so aye, I'll sit here for 10 15 minutes and see if it pops up. So, no ospreys, I'm afraid, and it was no beavers either, unfortunately. So, gonna get myself to Tesco, gonna pick up some beers, and I'm gonna spend the afternoon sat in that hot tub before I get cracking on with dinner the night. So, I'll catch up with you back here. So, apologies if there's any wind noise, but less than about 50 feet from the cabin, there is turkeys. And I asked Zoe if I could come up and film them, so when I'll show you these, look amazing. And just as I'm filming the turkeys, Zoe also mentioned me that there's a pair of ex-battery hens that she's rescued that are incredibly friendly. And I'll come right up to you, and right on time, they've shown up. I used to have chickens years ago, my grandas, and they're the most amazing wee animals. They're so friendly, and it's good to just watch them sort of pecking about, so I think they're here to see if I've got anything for them. So I'm pretty happy with that. Pork loin wrapped in parma ham, green beans, mashed totties, a cumin cider sauce, and the rest of the cider to wash it down when I get stuck into it. So that dinner was amazing. I've got all the dishes done as well. So plan was I was going to go to the fire pit um, and I was going to light the fire, stick some marshmallows on it and have some toasted marshmallows. But I'm a bit done in to be honest. So I'm literally going to just sit, have a beer. The beauty of the cabin is it's got Netflix and everything else that you would need as well, so I'm probably just going to sit and relax, so I'll catch up with you in the morning. Good morning. So, Sunday morning, we've got ourselves all packed up, shivered, uh, in the van packed. So, we're getting ready to go home, and that finishes up a, a week off work. Absolutely be gutted to be leaving here. The place has been absolutely incredible. It is the perfect place to come if you're just looking for a sort of chilled break. Good thing is, if you want a bit more than a chill break, you've got Blair Gowrie, um, which is literally a five minute drive away for the cabin. So you've got all the shops and stuff that you need there, you've got bars, you've got restaurants. But for us, it's been, well for me, my girlfriend can't because she's pregnant, but for me, it's been sitting in the hot tub, sitting having a couple of beers, making a couple of nice dinners, just literally sitting with the doors open, listening to the birds, watching the sheep and stuff go past. Um, and it's got Netflix and everything else. It's just been the perfect relaxed weekend. Um, Cabins at the Roost is on Instagram, it's also on Airbnb, um, it's an hour and a half drive or about an hour and 20 minutes drive for both Edinburgh and Glasgow as well. You've got the coast available to you, you've got St Andrews, you've got a Broth, uh, no a far drive for here, you've got the rolling Perthshire hillsides, you've got um, farm shops and everything else in between, so it's got literally 
a mix of just about everything that you'd be looking for as well. Um, so I, I'll definitely be returning here. It's incredible, and I can't thank Zoe enough for having us. So that's it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, I know it wasn't exactly all action or wasn't me out and about too much, but that isn't what I wanted to do here. And as I said before, I don't make these videos for the sake of sort of chasing content um, or whatever else. I'm literally just wanting to show whatever it is that I get up to. And if that happens to be a bit merry a chilled week, then so be it. Because I know you guys love to get away and stuff as well. So, again, thanks very much. Please remember, like and subscribe, share, tell everybody about it. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.